Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different than I usually talk about, because I usually talk about music hardware, um, which I still will talk about in the future. But I wanted to start doing some videos on uh, concepts that I find fascinating, because uh, I'm a little weird and I like to think about things a lot, so um, this is just a way to outlet and sort of uh, share things that I find interesting. So today I am going to talk about hydrogen and visible matter. And... I'm going to take you through kind of um, a thought experiment. So um, this first idea is that imagine you could create a, uh, a balloon, you know, a small balloon, and fill it full of hydrogen. So you fill it full of hydrogen gas. And then imagine that you had some magical ability to be able to take that balloon and make it the size of the universe. You know, it could be the size of the entire visible universe. And that's this uh, larger H shown to the right there. And the question is, what would happen? You know, given, you know, billions and billions of years, what would you end up with? Would you end up with uh, pretty much the same thing? Just a big, you know, universe full of hydrogen? Or would something happen after billions and billions of years? And I find it to be amazing that what would happen you know and what it's possible that 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 nothing would happen but it's actually significantly more likely that we would end up with uh, all visible matter being created just like today uh, if you look at the early universe uh, there was some some helium you know 25 percent helium 75 percent hydrogen and some trace amounts of lithium but What's really fascinating is, on the next slide, is that hydrogen can form uh, a star by itself, and those stars, as they age, go through a process where they explode. And uh, all those little dots in there that I have on the exploding star, uh, it turns out that those are the different elements of matter or the next uh, spots on the periodic table, so to speak. So to rewind just a second, so hydrogen, big cloud of hydrogen, uh, gets influenced by the laws of nature. That's where I'm just going to do some hand waving. And a star forms over billions of years. And what happens is in that star, just like our sun, uh, you have nuclear fusion happening, which hydrogen just happens to be able to fuse into helium, which is the next element in the periodic table. And what I find to be just incredible is that hydrogen by itself can produce helium through the laws of nature and later on in life as stars explode and collide and go through everything else that happens, a sort of cosmic dance, they end up creating heavier and heavier elements that end up filling out, you know, all of the natural uh, elements that can appear in the periodic table. And I just find that to be just mind blowing. Um, so, you know, with that, you might be thinking, you know, this is that kind of like the scale, like, where are you? You might be on the science side just being like, so what? This is, you know, really well known and you know, nothing, nothing new here. Uh, or I'm hoping that, you know, as I go through uh, more of this, that you might end up being more like me and being really like, wow, this is uh, pretty incredible. And it was, was something that I was exposed to by watching physics videos and everything else, you know, that's uh, available on, on YouTube and just kind of being, you know, just being marveled by it. And it was something I learned a few years ago uh, and uh, just thought it was really, really amazing. Um, so let me try to explain why it's amazing. And what I wanted to do is just take another analogy. Uh, so this is kind of on the, you know, computer science sort of side. Uh, the equivalent of saying that, the, uh, you know, hydrogen atoms by themselves, you know, can gather together, uh, form stars, and then form um, the next elements in the periodic table uh, you know, which all matter, all visible matter that we know of is, is made of. Um, the, an analogy would be like, that would be like saying that if you took a bit, you know, the, you know, it's basically just a switch, 
you know, a zero or a one, and you just like put tons of them, you know, together. Like if you just had like a massive amount of storage and you just store billions and billions and billions of, of zeros and ones. And then even if you just kind of had a little program that just randomized them, you know, and kind of moved some things around every once in a while, and you just gave that, you know, billions of years, what would end up coming out of that is, you know, all software that we have today. So that would that would create, you know, Windows, Mac OS, uh, Android, and then all the apps that we use and, you know, everything else. And I just find that to be so uh, kind of ludicrous like it doesn't even make sense like that could that could that that could happen and the reason why is because it's this factor that it also not only would it create all the software and data structures and everything else that goes along with it but it would all work together like it would all be compatible like you could load programs and and run them you know in the correct operating system etc like it would all work not only would it be created but it would work and i find that to be pretty implausible, you know, or pretty, pretty, uh, you know, n- not likely. Um, so another way to look at this is um, this sort of chain reaction that happens when hydrogen and helium, you know, kind of start, you know, building stars, basically, is also this sort of amazing thing about dominoes. Like if you, uh, if you've played with dominoes, you know, you, you know, set them up and knock them down. But one thing is that you can also knock down a larger and larger domino. And the thing is, to do that, um, you kind of have to know how big the next domino is. If it's too big, it won't knock it over. So you, and if it's too far away, it'll miss. You know? So you kind of have to have this careful layout, you know, physical layout, for the dominoes to chain react and to end up you know, getting larger and larger. Uh, so... I find that to be another sort of analogy that there's this almost precise layout in how stars work that they're creating the next uh, you know element and how that reacts and it all like forms this chain reaction that ends up creating everything. Um, so this is just showing that, and if those were in different orders. In this case, you have a little domino hitting the largest one and it just being like, well, nothing's going to happen. So all of this, I, I come back to why do I find this to be, you know, so kind of crazy is there's this, um, I'll call it a, an underlying intentionality that I think people don't talk about. And I find it so, um, you know, whether you want to call it fine tuning, uh, but I just I, my brain does not accept that that the initial universe, you know, created hydrogen atoms, and those hydrogen atoms, you know, just happen to follow the you know with the laws of nature, you know, create a star that just happens to start nuclear fusion, that just happens to create the next element, and then it just happens to all all work together. And I just don't think there's any way that that's like some random, you know, just combination that, yes, there's just infinite number of universes and this just happens to to work. Uh, I I, I personally don't really think that. Um, And I even go to the point of saying that if you have a a techno signature and uh, a techno signature is an indication of another um, techno- technologically advanced uh, civilization that we can observe. We haven't observed any yet, um, except ourselves, of course. Um, so a classic example of a techno signature would be if we were able to see another planet and to be able to see the city lights you know, on that planet. That would be something like, hey, look, there's, you know, there's something going on there. But to me, one of the things is that I don't, you know, hear people talking about, maybe because it's crazy, uh, but I look at this underlying intentionality of, of, of how these systems work and how physics just works, that to me, it itself is this giant techno signature. It's, it, 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 and, and if you think about it that way, that's the part that I find the most fascinating 
And I'm not saying that, you know, hey, we're in a simulation or, hey, you know, God created everything or, hey, you know, there's an alien race outside the universe that created the universe. But I do think that there is more to the the pieces all working. I think that that's there's no way that that's a, a coincidence. So if you think about it as being a, a really large techno signature, then it can kind of change the way you're, you're looking at things, or at least that changes the way that I look at things. Um, so uh, with that, um, I wanted to just say, I hope maybe uh, you might have some different, you might have a little bit more, uh, if I moved you a little bit along this scale, uh, great. Uh, if you found this interesting, let me know. Um, if you found it lame, let me know. Uh, all feedback is welcome. And I want to thank you for your time. Bye.